it, it almost feels like, and I don't want to jinx it, but it feels like a long summer already. That's what Pat was saying. I agree. I mean, the, we've had a, quite a bit of hot weather, 97 today in Portland. What's amazing about that is it's only been warmer than this 16 times, according to Ryan's research, but we didn't break the record for today. <laughs> the record for today was 98. It was the warmest record for June in the whole month. So we just had bad timing on that one. The dew points are in the 70s out there. And so, yeah, it's the heat, it's the humidity as well. We've got a couple of thunderstorms and we do need the rain. So out towards Eastport, happy about that probably. Machias as well. We had one uh, sailing south of Ellsworth probably in the next 15 minutes. But uh, there hasn't been much out here. And as I say that, of course, they warn a severe thunderstorm coming out of uh, northern part of uh, Winnipesaukee. They will keep an eye on that. It's not in our area yet, but it's probably a hailer. So we'll watch that as it drifts towards Freedom, New Hampshire, and eventually uh, over the border and maybe into Porter and Sebago. We'll keep an eye on that. There haven't been that many storms, though. And you might want to catch one that's not severe because it's our only chance to cool down at least briefly overnight tonight. But it's not going to do a whole lot because by tomorrow morning, we're in the upper 70s, 80 degrees maybe by 7 a.m. So you can see where we're going from here, which is right back into the mid 90s and quite easily, I think, in most spots. So, you know, I joked before, if you notice the difference between 97 and 95, tomorrow is better, but I don't think that you will. I think it's going to feel almost exactly the same. A couple of thunderstorms again tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and then one more day on Wednesday where we eke it out to 90 in a lot of spots, getting the official heat wave or beyond in, in some towns. And then the front comes through, which should be a happy ending. Last week I was saying I want the front to come through on Thursday, no later. It's coming through on Thursday. However, it's going to hang around. And that's our problem. The front kind of stalls out here, comes through on Thursday, a couple of showers, and then stalls out on Friday. A wave of low pressure comes along it. We probably got showers. It's cool on Friday. And I likely think that's the case again on Saturday where it's cloudy and showery and cool. And then we might be able to recover for the 4th of July. I'm cautiously optimistic about the 4th itself, but I think the holiday weekend around it is not great. And so I like to call this game, can you spot the holiday weekend? Hot, hot, classic summer, bam, holiday weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then probably right back to normal on Monday. I'd say a lot of people go back to work, but some people take next week off too. So it's uncanny. The ways we invent new ways to fail here in Maine, and I think that Memorial Day, Father's Day and the 4th of July weekend don't look great. Again, there is some hope for the 4th itself, which I think would make people feel a lot better if we can get if we can get that day. But uh, I mean, it's probably in the 60s on Friday and Saturday. Uh, I hope to be horribly and horrifically wrong about that, but I, I don't. We, I don't, we don't get so. to choose. You know, the, the, this day is the hot as a firecracker day, and no. it feels like the Fourth of July. It does, and you know, and Labor Day is always my day. If that day fails me, like that weekend <laughs> fails me this year, then I give up because that's usually like You're my done. ironclad weekend. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. <laughs>